Hey everybody, uh, this should be a quick video. Uh, we're going to do a teardown on these Mad Power Pest Repellers. It's supposed to be an ultrasonic pest repellent device with, what's it say there, electro vibrowave technology. So I don't know. But they were cheap. They're from Amazon, and I noticed they don't have any screws in them, so that makes taking them apart very easy. I do have one plugged in. Neither of the cats seem affected by it, so that's good. But let's just pop this open. It just has a couple pins. And let's look at how cheap these are. Well, that's not a whole lot, is there? It's a uh, piezo element blue LED, what's that, 100 ohm resistor, 470 mic, 25 volt cap, big, uh, big capacitor, let's see, what is that, it is a 0.33 microfarad at, what does that say, 250 or 450? at 275 AC so you know that'll work um hmm I wonder how the piezo element works do I have a screwdriver out here uh kind of let's see oh yeah that'll work fine I could probably pull these screws out with my finger get that button out of the way So that's some quality construction. The uh, power leads are soldered right to the back of the tabs, the spades. Then power comes in, it goes through a, what we got here? Okay, it goes through the capacitor, has a bleed resistor. After the capacitor, it goes through a half wave rectifier. All right. After the half wave rectifier, I guess that's probably what that fuse is doing. And there's a diode, it's the inner diode most likely. And then the switch for turning the night light on. And a, an IC, was that a 555? That would be funny. Yeah, it's a 555. Alright, so I can figure out what frequency this is running at. So they're powering a 555, which then drives the... Wait a minute, here we go. Driving the piezo element. So, wait... Unless they're just using this to... That can't be right. It's negative. Positive. This is a weird circuit. Weird, weird circuit. Let's see. One, two, three, four... What a strange circuit. I have to look up the pin out of this and get back to you. Alright, I'm back. Uh, I was right. This does have output here. This is the standard 555 timer. But, one thing I totally overlooked because I was busy looking at the 555 was the what is supposed to be a piezo element this thing, oops, bump the camera, this thing here, let's see if the fluke reads anything, I don't know if this is really a piezo element, when I go across it I got a dead short, they just look weird, see how it's like not centered and you know, yeah there's cheaper ones, but I figured let me just, and I saw that and I went, what the heck, so that was when I finally actually looked at the circuit board and saw that H negative, H positive, both go 
to the same trace. They're both on the negative DC trace. So power comes in. You got a. Let's get you so you can see the meter if you need to. All right. So power comes in here. Goes through that capacitor. Then there's the bleed resistor right there. That's a. Uh, it's a one meg. Yeah. And then there's a half wave rectifier. Half wave rectifier. There's the negative side here, and then the positive side goes through this resistor, which. 100 ohm, like I thought. That goes to that capacitor where it's smoothed a bit. And then this trace here is the positive low voltage DC trace because there's a, a uh, Zener diode there. So I can figure out. I'm guessing the whole thing's 12 volts, but it might be 5 or 9. Let's see. Yeah. So then there's a switch right here, and that switch's only job is to turn on that blue LED that's a night light. The 555 is set up, I'm guessing it's like one second on, one second off, two equal value timing resistors through a 10K resistor to the red LED. So this just makes that red LED flash. I'm going to see if I have something so we can. See if we can fire this up with low voltage. One sec. Alright, just to uh, confirm, I pulled open another one. And this one's a little different. It looks like they didn't clean, finish snapping the whole board off. Yeah. So these are being made this way. It's not a, uh, it's not a modification. These are just not actually made to do anything. Oh, and this one's even this one even has bad solder. Let's see if that that LED comes out because that one leg is totally loose. Yeah. <laughs> so these aren't even soldered together right. This one, the uh, light probably wouldn't work. So rather than proceed, I was going to. Well, I'll show you real quick. What the heck. This board is for something else I'm doing, but it was nearby and it can give me five volts. So let's see. Is that on? Yeah, that's on. Let's see if we can get any light out of this. Let's go. Just dump it in through the red. Uh, where's negative again? That side. Trying to find good spots to inject power. Just want you all to see how how it actually looks without it being plugged in. So that's all it does when it's plugged in your wall. Just sits there and flashes that red light. One second on, one second off. So, don't waste your money on these. If you see them on Amazon, Mad Power, 20 some bucks. It's cheap enough to give it a shot, like I did. I, I did not expect them to be good, and this just confirms it. So, don't waste your money. Don't waste your time. Don't buy them. So, I hope you learned something, and if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Thanks for watching.